Hi there, it's Michelle Frost again. Thank you for all the fabulous emails and comments we've been getting on the blog. I'm so glad you're enjoying this content. Now, I don't want to waste too much time introducing this next video because I'm so excited about it. We're going to work out how to get your craft online and start making you some money as soon as possible. So here we go. Today we're going to be setting up an Etsy store. Now we've already talked a little bit about Etsy. So why Etsy? Because it's a great place to start and it's pretty easy to set up like I'm going to show you. Uh, you can test your products there. So although I think it's much better to have your own website and we'll go into that later, uh, it's a great place to start and you can test your products and see if they sell. So it's designed just for craftspeople too. So it's a perfect place for us to be. It's full of buyers and sellers of craft. There's a lot to learn and a lot of your customers already go there. So Etsy's also had a 96% growth since last year, plus 20.2 million sales just in February this year, 2010. So it's huge. It's obviously on the way up. So let's open a, a shop and sell something I made a long time ago. This should be fun. So Etsy, here we are at the front page of Etsy. This whole slideshow is basically full of screenshots of me going through the process of opening a store in order to show you what you need to do so you can come back and look at them at any stage. I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to leave us some comments. See where I've got the arrow there? That's where you need to sign in. That's pretty obvious really. Now here we're at the create your account. Um, don't worry about the bit where it says sorry this username you have entered is already in use because this is me going back after I've already started to create it for you. So that's the username that I ended up being able to get called Craft Biz. Uh, and also it pays to mention that you need to make sure that the, the name that you choose is the one that you like and is relevant to what you do because once you do it, you can't change it. So make sure that it's one that you uh, don't mind sticking with because you can't change it unless it's under special conditions. So generally it's not something you can change. Um, also... Etsy is only open to people who are above 18 unless they have an adult who can vouch for them and pretty much run things for them. Um, and if they're under 18, they're not allowed to participate in any of the community parts of Etsy. So that's worth knowing too. So in here, it's like an, any normal um, signing up. You need to choose your password and put in your email address and, of course, retype your email address. This is the bottom of the signing up sheet. Also, you need to put in... Um, we well, don't need to, but you can sign up for their their emails as well as signing up or writing in where you found out about Etsy. Uh, so if it was from me, you can put that in there, Craft Business Online. And then you have to, of course, agree to the terms and conditions, terms of use. Then you hit Submit. And you'll get an email that looks somewhat like this. You need to click on that link in there to confirm that you have indeed requested to open up an Etsy account. So you click on that link and you'll be taken to this page uh, which says yes you've had successful registration and here you can click on either of those two pages and that'll take you to the sign up page where you sign in using the username you've just created, the one that lasts forever and the password that you've just chosen. So we sign in there and just to show you at any stage when you're at, in Etsy and you're not sure if you're signed in or not, just look up at the top. It'll actually have your user ID up there. So in this case it says, Hi Craft Biz. So I know I'm signed in. Once I've clicked that registration link in the email and I've gone into Etsy, I'll actually get another email welcoming me from Etsy. And that email contains some very useful articles. So again, when you've got a bit more time and you want to find out a bit more about it, pop over and follow a few of these links, they're quite handy. Okay, so now that we're inside Etsy, what you need to do is click on that sell button at the very top where the orange arrow is pointing and that will take you to this page. And here you then need to click get started. Again, this is a great place to go if you want more resources on um, to sell on Etsy. There's plenty of awesome information there to use. So we've hit get started because you may have an Etsy account, but an Etsy account um, doesn't mean that you have an Etsy store yet. Or So you might be a buyer, for example. So you need to go and we now we're in the process of creating basically a seller. We're saying putting our hands up and saying, yes, we want to sell. So here I've just put in my basic information. Most of this, uh, you, I mean, you shouldn't need that much explanation for it. It's not that confusing. 
you'll be able to get through it yourself, I'm sure. Um, here, although um, Etsy is almost free, it's not quite free, I'm afraid. It is 20 cents to list an item, which is really not very much. <laughs> 20 American cents too, for those of you who are not in America. And then they take a certain percentage of your sale. I um, can't recall off the top of my head what it is, but it's not very much. It's like three point something percent. So um, it's certainly worth it. You need to put the details in there. I didn't bother putting my details in there in front of you. Um, well, that's private information anyway, <laughs> my credit card details. So once you've filled that out, what you'll get is another email. Basically, again, welcoming you this time to being a seller and that you have your own Etsy shop. And there's some details here about setting up your Etsy shop. But what we've done is I've gone over and he clicked that link and here uh, what you need to do now that you're an Etsy seller is to actually list an item. So you click the link where it says list an item and I happen to have um, another lifetime ago I ran a small business where I created small wooden fish which I sold um, at the local tourism such as tourist stores and craft stores which you'll get a picture of in a minute. But I have a couple of them left, not very many, just a few, and I'm unable to make them anymore anyway because I no longer have the equipment to make them. And so I decided that for this example that I would use that. So I've come in and I've put a description and a title, all very self-explanatory again, listed the materials that are used in the making of it. And you have to make sure in Etsy that what your listing is handmade. There's a whole um, description on what you can and can't sell in Etsy and it's well worth looking at before you go ahead and put something up if especially if you're not sure. Uh, so here we have to categorize it so what I've got is a woodwork and it's sort of like a sculptor and it's sort of home decor and it's made it's like an animal I guess well it's a fish it's not quite an animal <laughs> and, and it's also a wall hanging um, so that sort of cuts produces the categories that are required there. I'm going to sell it for $125 if somebody wants to buy it for $125. I've only got one of them um, to sell so it's only 20, cent, 20 cents to list it. Um, I haven't set up sections, we'll go into that tiny bit in a minute and then there's shipping and things like that there. Uh, this is the continuation of that page. I'm sorry I'm talking quickly, I'm just aware that we need to get through it and most of this will be self-explanatory when you come in. Uh, so I've set what, I'm, what I think it will cost for shipping in there. Now we need to put up some images. So I've gone and got some images of the fish and here they are. Simon's taken some really nice pictures for me of the fish uh, which hang up. And again this is what happens when you get to the end of it. This is the review and post stage. So you can review everything that you've written up for your article, your item that you're selling. This is the another part of that and the end. So it's the shipping. So that's reviewing everything we've just written. And then we get down to the bottom, we get here and it says thank you because I've said yes, everything's fine, go ahead and list it. So they're going to list it, which is great. So now the other thing you can do is down the left hand side there's shop set up and it's worthwhile going down there and playing a little bit with the appearance of the shop. So I've gone and I've grabbed, um, made up a quick little banner using one of those pictures and put in a little bit more of a description because when people are buying thing for things from you they really do like to know a little bit more about you and it makes that whole personal thing much more personal. So policies, you can fill in the policies and save the changes, refunds, what you think you might or might not do there. Sections, sections will be great if you have different kinds of craft that you want to be able to list. Personally I don't, I've only got one here. <laughs> Uh, payment methods, how, you, how you'll take payment. PayPal is a great one and next one we, next video we're going to show you how to set up a PayPal account. That would be the preferred method. Google Analytics, again something that I'm going to show you about in the next one which is to do with tracking what's happening. Um, also it's important to go up and do your public profile so make sure you do that too. So I've added my public profile here and also a little bit about myself. And now it tells me basically that I owe them 20 cents and I guess they'll take that out or I'll go and pay it. So getting around Etsy, if you want to get into your Etsy, then you click your Etsy and it brings you, gives you all of those things that you can change. If you want to go to your shop, you click that little shop button and that's what my shop looks like. And my URL is actually craftbiz.etsy.com, even though it displays as something different once it comes up. So feedback, I don't have any yet, but that's what Etsy grows on. So the more you sell the more positive feedback you get and the more so the next video here I go whipping through it uh, so we're going to be setting up accounts on some other sites to make Etsy work better for you like Facebook like Google accounts PayPal 
and a lot more.